Hey everybody, John here with Billing Seafood Guys and home of the Wild Alaskan Seafood Box. Thank you so much for watching this video. As I was saying, we're gonna show you the trick to make sure you never ruin your salmon again. I'm gonna tell you guys and walk you guys through how to make sure your salmon comes out nice and moist and a super easy recipe to go along with it. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you guys also the temperatures and cook times I use too. So we're gonna dial you in on your at-home salmon cooking skills. Let's jump into it. All right, everyone, let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smother this salmon filet in some olive oil. So this is your number one little hack. And this is obviously a very common thing, but I am telling you, it took me years to consistently start doing this. And ever since I consistently started doing this, it, uh, it almost like buys you a little bit of time uh, in case you do cook it a little bit longer. This just helps uh, retain that moisture inside that salmon. So remember guys, that is trick number one. Cover this filet in olive oil. Okay, so the next step to this really basic recipe is I am just gonna be adding some salt and pepper. So this is the recipe that I probably use 80% of the time when I'm cooking salmon. It's super basic, it's super quick, it's super easy, and I'm telling you right now, it's always good. So a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then the next one, totally your preference, but to me, paprika and also smoked paprika pairs so well with sockeye salmon. So I just like to get a little bit on the filet there. Okay guys, so salmon's basically ready, but now hack number two. Okay, so you got your olive oil. Your second thing you're gonna do to help keep that moisture in is have three little dabs of butter throughout the filet. So almost think of this as like little layers that's going over that salmon as it's baking just to keep that moisture in. So this is it guys, so we got olive oil, we've got you know your seasonings, we've got salt, we've got pepper, we've got a little bit of smoked paprika, and then we've got three dabs of butter. So I'm telling you, these are gonna be two tricks, the olive oil and the butter, that if you start doing on your salmon, you are gonna have some moist salmon, some tasty salmon, it's gonna be nice and flaky, it's not gonna dry out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk to you guys about is cooking temperature and cook time. Here we go. All right, bonus hack number three. So the, the next thing that um, I wanna tell you guys about is cook, cook times and temperature. So I wanna give you a really um, good temperature and cook time just to stand by. Um, when you have your, your average salmon filet that's gonna be ranging you know, from like 1.3 pounds to like 1.5 pounds, so a pretty, pretty good filet and pretty thick. So if you have a huge filet or you have a smaller filet, just remember that you kind of have to adjust it. This is, this is gonna be based on an average filet, 1.3 to 1.5 pounds. So over the years, what I've come to use is 375 degrees going into the oven and I cook it for 20 minutes. So again, if you guys have a smaller filet, check it at 15. If you have a bigger filet, check it at 20, and you're probably gonna to go to 25. But the goal of this is once you take that salmon out in about 20 minutes with this size filet, once you cut into that, you're gonna have just a little bit of opaqueness to it, so not like fully cooked through. Because remember, when you take this stuff out of the oven, it's still smoking hot, and it's gonna keep cooking. So that's the trick, about 375 degrees, 20 minutes for an average size filet, and make sure it's nice and opaque not 100% cooked through when you take it out. Here we go. Okay, here it is. Look at that, how good does that look? Simple, easy. Oh yes. Okay guys. Follow this recipe, follow these hacks, these tricks, these temperatures, and enjoy some amazing wild Alaskan sockeye salmon.